what are blocks in Drupal and how do we use them? Oh, okay, blocks are one of my favorite things. Blocks are how we control uh, where the content is located and, and how, how we actually um, uh, um, control what types of, of content shows up where on the page. Um, let me show you what I mean. Um, to access the blocks, what we're going to do is we're going to click on structure. Structure is where all the fun stuff is. And we're going to click on blocks right up here. Um, the blocks provide, they give kind of a drag and drop interface so that you can um, put certain blocks of content in what we call block regions. Okay, And you can also control the order of different blocks within different regions. Um, I'm just going to open up the site in a new tab over here, just the front page, to just kind of demonstrate um, what what's going on here. This page, it's hard to tell, but this page is actually divided up into various blocks. Um, we, we can see, I mean, I mean, what seems obvious right here is we've got this blue section up here, okay, and then we see that we've got what I assume to be a sidebar going on over here, and we also see a main area over here, and then we have what looks like a footer down here, okay, um, and that's, you know, that's close. We see, so we get some idea of the block regions. Um, this, the block regions and the location of all the different regions do you have access to, that's determined by the theme. And the theme is just sort of a template um, that is used by Drupal to decide colors and where things are located and layout and all sorts of things like that. Um, we're using what's called the Bartik theme, which is just the default theme. It's kind of a boring theme, but it does the trick. Um, there are thousands of themes available and you can even create your own theme as well too. Um, that's you know the beauty of using a content management system is that you can customize that. You can have the exact same content but with you know the flick of a button you could switch to a new theme and have that same content show up in a completely different way um, and that's really cool. Um, so this theme is dividing up our content into block regions. We have a sense of where the block regions are but how can we tell exactly where these block regions are? What block regions we have to deal with and and you know where they're located on the page. This is where by going to structure blocks you can click on the demonstrate block regions uh, link right here and this ought to be this is usually um, accessible through uh, most themes that you will ever encounter will have when you when you enable this new theme you'll be able to go to the blocks uh, blocks page here and click on demonstrate block regions for the theme that's activated at that time. In this case it says demonstrate block regions Bartik in brackets because we're in the Bartik theme. Let's go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in a new tab as well too. I'll close this one. And we've just we've just opened up this page over in this new tab. And here we see um, with a lot of detail all the different block regions that are available to us in the Bartik theme. Okay, and note that um, it looks like a lot. All these yellow boxes, these are these different regions that we have available to us, and it looks like there's a lot, but believe it or not, there's other themes that have even more regions than this. Um, see, we probably, you know, we were looking down here in this black section and we thought, oh, footer, but there's actually five different regions available to us in here. Yes, there's this wide footer area down here, but we could even, we could split up, you know, uh, content into four different columns if we wanted to. You've got footer first column, footer second column, footer. These are all the names of the block regions that we're dealing with. We also have, and this this is interesting, we didn't notice this because it wasn't active on the previous page, we have what's called triptychs. Triptych is just, you know, the implication is that something's divided into three. Um, and, and sure enough, we've got triptych first, triptych middle, triptych last, and this is extra. These are additional regions where you can put content. And Bartik styles this by default with this pale gray behind. There's a kind of a dark dark charcoal black behind here. Um, what else do we have? We've got sidebar first. There's sidebar second over here. I didn't notice that and that's because not all themes always have some, or sorry, not all regions, not all block regions will necessarily have a block in it. If you don't put anything in it, then nothing's going to show up. That region just disappears. Okay. Um, we have what's called featured, a featured block region. This is again styled similarly to this except at the top and it's got a gray background. We have what's called the header. Now they put the header up here. The header can be in various locations. It's usually near the top of the page. Um, and you'll see this, the same names used over and over again. Um, some of these are sort of default names. Sidebar first, sidebar second, triptych, footer. Those are defaults. Same thing with content. Your main content is always going to, there's almost always a block region called content. Um, there's a help block region. This is for any sort of help 
uh, messages that you want to provide, you can set them by default to show up within this help region. Um, if there are no help messages to, to see at that point in time, then this help block region just completely disappears. There's highlighted here. We see all sorts of opportunities for bringing out your content and styling it differently. And, and in case you're wondering, yes, you can alter these styles. If you weren't happy with this dark gray, you could change that to something else. But we'll be talking a lot more about how to control appearance in a future screencast. For now, I just want to get our heads wrapped around this idea of block regions as being a place where we can put stuff, okay? And so what stuff, what stuff do we put in here, okay? Um, well, we'll, we'll talk in, in the next screencast, we're actually going to talk about um, what block content we can put in all here. But the most important thing to remember is you need to know what the regions are to begin with. And so that's why I really like the idea of just, just make sure that you do a little, you know, right click on this and open it up in a new tab so you can refer to it. And that's really, really handy while you're learning a new theme. Um, and uh, uh, second, uh, be aware that this Okay, this is a drag and drop interface, which means that we can do things like moving things around like that, and that makes it really easy uh, to to move content around. We're gonna, I'll demonstrate that in the next video. Um, there's other ways to do it too. We could actually also change the block region by doing this, um, but the drag and drop feature is really, really nice. And here we see we, we see that Drupal's telling us, hey, we're, we haven't saved these changes yet, and that's okay. We don't need to save that. Um, finally, looking looking over here, um, be aware of the, the actual uh, block region names, okay? You'll see a lot of them will be the same. And if you're ever wondering, you know, I wonder if this region has, say, or if this particular theme has a a specific region for blah 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 you just have to look at this page and see okay um, and in this case uh, they're all listed here there's uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen different block regions available to us in the Bartic theme and you know some themes have even more block regions available than that okay so that's our introduction to block regions uh, in the next screencast I mentioned we're actually going to start enabling and disabling different block content we're going to start moving things around and see what that does okay but I will see you in that next screencast thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time